Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been talking about layers and the basics of them. And in this video, we're going to talk about opacity. In a previous video, we showed that if this was a layer, a piece of card, say made of blue, and above it was, it was a plastic sheet, half red and half transparent, then what we'd actually see when looking down is the bit of the red from here and the bit of the blue from here. Opacity is, is simply another word for transparency. So we'd say that the red here is 100% opaque. You know, so the opacity is 100%. The transparent side is 0%, uh, which means you can see all the way through it. So this can be used in colours to get in between those, between 0% and 100%. So we're going to have a look at that with another one here. So if this is blue again, now the red layer has been faded down if you like it's been painted over so it's partly transparent if you use a plastic sheet you held it up to the sky or to anything else you could see everything looking a bit pink and what would happen with this then is it, is you'd see a bit of the blue and a bit of the red and together they combine to be purple so that combining you'd seeing a bit of both layers at once and one more thing we can look at which is gradients and gradients is when the opacity changes so now we've got the blue layer and the red layer and there's a gradient across here, so it goes from fully opaque over here to zero over here, and in between it, there's a, it gradually fades off. And so when you look through the top, you're going to see all red at one side, gradually fading over to blue at the other. So let's have a look at this in an example. So here we've got, let's have a look here. Yes, this is it. This is the picture we had before. Now we're going to start off the same. We're going to hit Control J to do a duplicate. Then we're going to go down here to black and white and hit Merge on that. So we've got a black and white layer. Turn that off. There's the color layer underneath. And what we did before, and we'll do it again, is we painted here with the erase brush and as we saw here that we had quite a hard edge to it so this is the, you can see very clearly the edge which means painting up to the edge here is a bit tricky what we can do with this is if we look at the opacity here and flow and hardness flow mostly you can ignore that's mostly used if you're using a, uh, a pencil or a tablet so we're going to leave that opacity there for the moment and we're going to look at how hardness i'm going to change that to 50 percent now when we look at this here let's make the bridge a little bit bigger i'll just click on one point there you can see around the edge of that it's not as hard as this other thing because the hardness has been reduced so up hardness is the gradient from the center outwards as to how it affects the brush so if I went down to zero and click now, now there's a much softer gradient. So we call it a soft brush. And we could say make that 80%. And if I clicked on this, there's a little bit at the edge there. I might call that a fairly hard brush. So let's turn this back to, uh, let's say 30%. And we see a use for this which is because we're poking holes now in this top layer of black and white to see the color layer underneath. If I paint around the outside here, I can do this quite quickly, almost casually. And the reason I'm doing this is because at the edge of it, it's, it's hardly anything being let through from underneath. And I can paint the whole thing over. So very quickly, you know, this was much easier than doing it with a hard brush. If I turn off the bottom layer, you can see the edge there. So it's a bit fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Um, but you don't see the effect here because it's so faint. So this is a useful way of doing this. If I go over here, however, there's a big blue girder behind here. So if I try and paint on the finger here, you can see that the edge is there, the blue shows through. So this only really works if the background is fairly 
muted any case. So if we turn this off here, see there are kind of bits of colours behind there, but they're not enough to make a make it visibly notable. Right, so what we're going to do is one more thing, you know, and that is look at the opacity here. So if I take this picture here, I've got opacity here which is in the, this brush. I've also got opacity here which is for the whole layer. So if I take this opacity here and turn this down, I've got a, got a slider here, now I'm letting more of the colour through from underneath. So at one end all the way down, the, we, the opacity is zero so I can't see any of the top layer. As I gradually bring it up, effectively you're getting more and more black and white layer in the picture and so it's making it more faded. So this is a good way, a quick way of if you want the picture to be a bit faded, turn down the colours, just duplicate it, put it, make it black and white and then change the opacity. So there we go. There's a very quick view of what you can do with opacity of layers and in the hardness of the brush, which has got a gradient on it, lots more about gradients to come. Thank you very much for watching.